Hello, we're going to look at the 1930s Kodak Pi notification lamp. This is a, a really old slide viewer or negative viewer that I've picked up at the car boot a few weeks back and converted it with a Raspberry Pi into a nice little notification lamp. So, if we have a look at it, we've got the, uh, the main thing here. Nice big glass lens on the front. And the whole front section hinges open. So we can hinge that open there. And then inside, you can see that is a unicorn hat or fat. It's the, uh, the half size version of the unicorn hat. And that's a matrix of super bright LEDs that you can control programmatically. So that's really bright there. And that shines through that nice big lens at the front. So if we close that up, Then if we turn it round, it's got a really nice industrial look to it. It's called a Kodak table viewer. And I think you must have put in your, your negatives or your slides here. And then there was a bulb in the back here. And then you would switch it on and be able to look in and uh, you know view your slides or look at your negatives. The whole thing goes around like that. It all swivels here. So you can tilt it in different orientations. So we got the unicorn hat there at the front, and that's all wired through here into the back part. Now this is where the bulb was originally, but now in the back there, we've got a nice little Raspberry Pi Zero W, which is the one with Wi-Fi um, included. So if we just rotate this a bit and then pull it out, you can see the little Raspberry Pi there slots out nicely. And really it couldn't do with any being any bigger because it only just fits in there on this little bracket that I've made to collect it, connect it up to the, uh, the back. So the whole thing's powered just by a standard USB uh, power supply. So I'm going to plug that in now and then we'll uh, have a look at it in action. And turn it round a bit so that we can see because uh, although it shines and you can see the light at the front of the lens there it also projects a really nice uh, light onto the wall as well so we just zoom back a bit and then we'll be able to see that so the way the notifications work is that the Pi in the back uh, is connected to the internet and constantly checking for emails and what it's looking for when it checks for emails is for specific words in the subject. So it's looking for the name of a color. And then when it receives an email with that color in the subject, it will then use a Python script to tell the unicorn hat to display that color for a set amount of seconds and then stop. And then it'll... So although the Pi is checking for emails to get its notifications and its instructions for the hat, um, all of those notification emails come via the IFTTT service. That's the if this, then that. And that's an online service that links up your web accounts so that you can say, if I receive a notification from Facebook, send an email with this subject in. And that's what this lamp's based on. Uh, so there's no buttons to turn it on or anything like that. It all comes online. So for the purpose of the demo, what we're gonna do is use Google Assistant to trigger some of these different colors in the lamp. And what I've done is I've set up a, an applet on IFTTT with Google Assistant as the if part of the applet so that uh, if I say to Google Assistant, Kodak, and then a word, it will send that word through to the Pi as an email. Let's try sending a, a command through via Google Assistant. Uh, thankfully, we're in the kitchen because in the kitchen we have the uh, Google Pi intercom right next to us. So we can say, hey, Google, tell me a joke. OK, here you go. What sound do porcupines make when they kiss? Ouch. Very good. OK, so let's go back to the table here. Pop that down and we'll give it a go. So, OK, Google, Kodak Blue. 30 seconds of blue coming up. So it's now sending an email through via the IFTTT service and that should arrive in about sort of five to 15 seconds or so. And then once it arrives, the Pi will use the Python script 
to light up the unicorn hat in a blue colour. Yay! There you go. And it worked. That's incredible. So it'll just do that for a few seconds and then switch off. Try another one. Hey Google, go to red alert. Red alert shields up. Let's turn the lights down so we can see it a bit better. So this time the Python script is using a loop to turn the uh, hat off and on to give the nice flashing effect. Okay, let's try a different one. Uh, hey Google, make a rainbow. Unicorn poop coming up. Hey Google, Kodak Blue. 30 seconds of blue coming up. Hey, there we go. So it looks great on the wall. And also you can see Looks really nice on the lens too. It's such a lovely big glass lens. So that's pretty much it really. It's quite a simple thing. Uh, something happens online, it lights up in a colour, looks nice. It's quite simple. The, all of the code is on uh, GitHub and there's a link to that in the description. And if you're interested to know how it was uh, put together, then there's also a link in the description to the Instructables page where there's a lot more detailed photos and uh, explanations of how it was done. But that's it. Thanks for watching.